Hello humans, welcome back! So last time I wasn't very successful in getting Lapis or anything of the sort to get enchantments. Which is very sad. But I figured I could get my own enchantment on stuff if I just made a trading hall and all of that myself. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, you see all these crazy colored blocks behind me? That is because of a mod called Lametica, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, that allows you to make schematics of things and put it in the uh, in the world so it's easier to know where stuff is instead of looking at reference pictures. So you see these quote blocks here? They, they don't actually exist. Um, but that's where they're going to go. So this is how the pathway in is going to look, except that the floor is going to be pretty as well. And all I'm doing right now is uh, I'm digging out because everything that's purple like this is supposed to be air blocks. So I'm just digging all of this out to uh, make my trading hall. And the red ones is like the wrong kind of block behind it. And this is what I'm going to be doing for a little while uh, until I can get it uh, looking decent and I can get the uh, breeder and trading hall and all of that in there. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Problem with using Lavenica though is that I didn't realize it was studying dark. And um, if you take a look at this, this is how it looks. <laughs> and I dug this way and a little bit like that and I dug this way. And then, um, yeah, there is a big cave here that I didn't see because um, of the America mod. It just uh, replaced it with other stuff. I'm going to show you. Yeah, it looks like this. Wait. Oh, no. Oh. Damn it, I have to put it back in the right place every time I unload it. Seriously? Uh, down, and then it's going that way, and that way, and that way. Yeah, uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna do this in a different way. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the, the thing is, like, I couldn't see what was supposed to be here. It just looked like this. Like, this looks normal, except it was a creeper right there. So uh, this is a bit dangerous. I'm just gonna dig normally for now. I hope for the best. I also need torches. Okay, so the uh, trading center thing is, uh, well, it isn't exactly done, but it's it's sort of done. Look, this is this is it. Um, up here, I haven't put the villages in yet, but up here is where they're going to be, and they're going to trade carrots and breed, and all the babies are gonna fall down here, and I'm gonna put more beds, and then down there, and then. I put glass all the way so you can see them and they're gonna fall here and stand there and when they grow up they're gonna touch that water and then bloop down here and here's gonna be a railway track uh, putting them picking them up in this corner and then down here and then going to go underneath this and up in in here here and then this they're gonna go away there to this place here where they're gonna get turned by zombies and then in this corner right here they're gonna wait to be uh to be cured and when they're done they're going to be sent off in that direction up to the trading hall oh that's it <laughs> uh this is uh this was sort of difficult to do while having the schematic because sometimes you think there's a block where there isn't one and the other way around but it's it's also so much easier than looking at a reference picture and trying to get everything in the right place. And now I'm gonna put the villagers in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go sleep. And then I'm gonna move the villagers. And why am I? I also need to get food because I don't really have any food. I have like five tomatoes. Tomatoes? No. Oh no, there's something up there. I'm gonna sleep. There, I don't have tomatoes. I meant that I have potatoes. <laughs> I'm maybe a bit tired. I thought I saw something move up there. This place is not lit up properly. It's terrifying. Also, I am. Um, I made a invincible. I almost said um, renewable source of lava, and I made some very, very basic smelters. Actually, I can I can pick up the last one there and then i can put them in here and in here 
and in here and these are filled up so i have a lot of stuff which is good i also have a very simple farm like simple farms i guess for stuff and i have a leaf left leafless tree <laughs> that's a difficult thing to say yeah so it's time to move the villagers which is always very fun oh damn it i need rails uh i don't have a lot of gold is that enough i hope that's enough i hate moving villagers is there anyone out there that actually enjoys moving villagers and all of that because if so put it in the comments because i really want to know because i doubt that's true actually if you say you like moving villagers i'm not sure i'm even gonna believe that oh you the um i feel like i'm going a bit crazy i'm tired i'm tired and i've been digging that thing for like i don't know an hour two i think it's been two hours of just digging that thing out and oh I need a break. Maybe it's good to move the villagers. No, no, it's not fun to move villagers. Sorry if my sound is sort of echoey. They painted my uh, living room a while back, meaning I have to take everything off the w windows. See, I can't, I really can't speak. I, I have to take everything off the walls and now everything echoes. I'm going to put things up on the walls again in like a week, two. They say now it's probably going to be months because that's just how life is when you have ADD. <laughs> oh, you think you're gonna do stuff but then you don't and um, then you're surprised that you didn't get anything done even though you know you're not gonna get anything done you've done have you done that because i can't be the only one right moving villages right here we go they are in and they survived <laughs> which is uh, more than i was hoping for honestly I dropped them down from above there on that block uh, and I thought they were going to die but they didn't so I'm happy and they have their carrots and now it's now we just wait yeah, okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just stand here and watch okay I'm gonna clean up the um, the railway track I made that thing all the way here this is where i dropped them down i'm gonna cover that back up and then no one's gonna know i'm gonna clean all of this up and then oh wait then i'm not sure what i'm gonna do <laughs> the things i have one of those lists again of stuff that i need to do uh, but i think getting the villagers first is probably a good idea because then I can get so many other things. After the villagers, I am going to start. Well, I'm actually, I've already started getting the materials for the creepy farm, which I'm actually going to move. I had it above here where there was supposed to be a tower, but I've changed the look of that tower, made it taller, and it's just not really gonna look good there anymore. Why did you fall down that? that oh, right, I saw that. Uh, I'm gonna move it to right above the um, the trading hall actually, like right up here in the sky, and it's getting dark again. I want to get rid of this before it gets too dark because I want to get back and forth. That is annoying. I have been busy. I cleared out the thing in the middle, and I have a few villagers. Hello. Uh, I don't have any books to trade with this guy, so I'm just leaving him there. And I'm not gonna take the multi shot, I'm gonna take something else. Uh, so, this is the breeder, and it's producing villagers. I have a few ones in here this one, this one, and these two, which sells mending and such, which I got on my pick. And that's all I've done. <laughs> I also went mining a little bit to get some stuff, and I got some budding amethyst because we can mine those with such. Oh, it's raining. This is not fun. And I go back inside. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to keep trading with these guys. I'm going to get a zombie in here. I know that this looks really, really bad. But you're just going to have to bear with me. Because I don't have the materials to make this pretty yet. There's going to be quartz on the walls. And there's going to be copper and prismarine on the floor. But I don't have any of those stuff yet. So I'm just going to have to go get that and put that in when I can. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna slowly progress, I guess.
these stars, I, I need to get rid of this rain. You know, I was waiting for the rain to go away, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So let's just keep going and pretend the rain isn't there. Sounds good? Yeah. Okay, so I know this place is a bit of a mess. Uh, that always happens in the solar area thing. It just looks kind of weird to have all this and a big circle building. It just doesn't mix very well. I've been getting quite a bit of copper and I have been smelting it up in these things and I've also been smelting a lot of stone so that I can trade with the villagers. Villag villagers, I can speak. And also so that I can actually, you know, make things pretty later on. And then now I, I lost my train of thought and I don't know what I'm talking about. I was going to explain the stalls. Right. Okay, so this one, you see, they ha it has the two different kinds. Uh, they're supposed to be armorers or whatever they're called. And yeah, the ones that sell armor and weapons and tools and stuff because those are going to be kind of specific and I'm gonna have them here and here that's a smaller one and over here I had like farmers here at first but I think I'm gonna change that uh, and put the farmers up here somewhere because that's where the farms are going to be so that kind of makes sense oh my god okay so you do not know how long i've been trading with villagers because i am slightly going mad but i eventually got this guy hello i love you that gave me efficiency five anyhow so i've been trading along and <laughs> i'm gonna go to bed after this because this is mm, you are wonderful but you you're late uh this is very janky so um I haven't really done anything. I did this, like, very temporary placement for decent villagers. Like, I have this one that has some breaking. I haven't actually built anything else. I've literally just been trading, and I am so tired of it. Like, you have no idea. Uh, I put these down. I've been growing, I almost said potatoes, which, I mean, I have been growing potatoes. But up here, I was... Pumpkins. I am losing my mind. I've been trading for too long. Yeah, so I'm I'm getting there. Slowly but surely I'm getting back to having stuff. <sighs> At this point, the thing that I need to do the most is gather materials for all the kind all the different kinds of builds that I'm going to make. A lot of stone, a lot of deep slate, a lot of tough, a lot of a lot of stuff let's just put it that way okay and i don't feel like research gathering i just want to build oh uh, okay you know what i feel like i've done a lot today i have i have gotten the trading center going even though it looks horrible it's functioning that is the main point right now i have started getting back some of the good tools now i just need to gather materials and then next time we can build. Which means I'm gonna leave it there for today. I hope you had a nice day, evening, or whatever it is where you're at. And I will see you next time. Bye! Also, what do you think of the short episodes? Good? Bad? Let me know. Okay? Bye!